Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley. This is part of a crash course on Framer, a tool for designing and prototyping projects. On this video, we're going to learn how to use artboards and layers in code using Framer. Simple and easy stuff. Let's get started. In Framer, artboards work great with different device sizes. You can add an artboard on the Design tab by pressing A or selecting the Artboards tool on the toolbar. If you add your artboards in Framer, your design will translate into code perfectly. Every artboard is set up to be the parent of all the layers placed in it and changed according to the size of it. Targeting an artboard in the code will automatically also target all of its child layers. Let's set up a flow component interaction where we go from one artboard to the other. First, we target the artboards on the design panel. Just here on the layers panel, just click on the target, on the create target button, the little icon that appears next to the artboard, and then that's it, you just created a target. Let's do the same for artboard B. Now that we created a target to them, now we can use it in code and add interactions. Don't worry about not knowing the code right now, we'll get into it later, we just want to see what's possible. First, I'm going to set up a flow component. So I'm just going to say flow equals new flow component. There you go. So I just created a flow component called flow. Now I'm going to add a show next function to my new component. So I'm going to put flow dot show next. And this, I'm going to target the artboard A. So I'm going to start typing artboard A. It appears here since I already created a target. And now it's here. And now I want to make it so it switches when I add a click event or a tap event. So I'm going to put artboard A on click. And then I add a dash and a chevron after the event. Then I'll add the flow component that we first created. And then I'm going to say show next. And then I'm going to say that it goes to artboard B. And now it should work and show artboard B. There you go. But now it doesn't go back if I click on this. So I need to create another event on click that it takes me back to the previous one. So I'm going to go and do the same artboard B on click. And then, oops, I need to add this very important and then flow show previous and that's it now let's test it there you go I just created a flow component that takes me from one artboard to the other and just takes me back pretty easy inserting a layer is as simple as drawing something in the design tab for example, let's just add a rectangle here and let's put it in the middle. There you go. To be able to use your layers in the code tab, you have to add a target to them. When you do this, you're ready to start coding. So for example, on this rectangle, I'm just going to add a target here. I hover here on the layers uh, list. I click on this and now it's ready for me to start coding. To target a layer, simply insert its name followed by the behavior you want to add to it. For example, Let's add the layer that we just added. And then you can add any behavior like animate. Layers have many types of properties that you can edit on the code. You can change its colors, position, scale it, hide it. For example here, let's change the position of it. Position to be 400. And see how it's changing on the code. A great way to explore all layer properties is by using autocode. Simply click on animate then select the layer that you want to edit. And then you're here, we'll have the autocode panel. And here you have all the properties that you can edit. For example, let's change the color of this rectangle to a bright red. There you go. And then here, for example, I can also change the border radius and it can change the scale, rotation, all of these properties. And I can also edit the animation curve here on this tab. I could change it to linear, ease, is in, is spring, and I can preview over here. But we're gonna get into this later. Once you have edited using the auto code, you can override any of these values here in the code. For example, here, instead of 71, I'm going to do 100. 
And if you want to go to back to auto code, you just simply click here on the icon and then you open the panel. On the next lessons, we're going to learn how to control the animations and how to use them with different events. Pretty cool stuff. Thank you.